When you export a PDF for your chart, there are several options to choose from. You open the settings at the top left, at the more options, create PDF, and then PDF settings. At the top, you find all the text info. This will appear at the top of the page. So for instance, this is the chart title. These are some notes, for instance, describing your uh, pattern. And these are the materials used like uh, yarn and the needles. So if I would create my PDF, it would look like this and appear at the top. Below it are the legend options. For instance, you can change the order. For if you want to cast on to appear at the top, you can drag it to the top like this. Um, you can choose to hide um, certain legend items. You can include the wrong side if you want to. And you can also change the position of the legend. So if your chart is in uh, portrait mode, it can be handy to put it on the right to give it a little bit more room on the page. Here you can change the page orientation. For instance, if your chart is in landscape, it can be useful to put it to landscape so it has a little bit more room and the chart is bigger on the page. Then you have the gallery. Uh, these images will always appear on a separate page and it's automatically generated so you can't uh, position them uh, yourself. If you tap and hold on an image, you get some more options. For instance, you can choose to set it as the cover image of the PDF uh, so it will appear on the first, uh, first page or you can also choose to exclude it from the PDF. You can also tap and hold on an image and then drag it around to change the order. If you tap on an image, you get the option to add some notes and these will appear underneath the image. So if I export it again by create PD project PDF, the gallery page would look like this. So there are some notes beneath it and the grid is automatically generated. These are the document settings and the title will always appear on the first page at the very top. Here you can enter your own copyright information. You can change the font to anything you like. And here you can also add an empty page so you can position images and text yourself. So if I select this one, I get a new page and here I have the option to select an image like this. Um, let's put this one in there again. You can just drag and position them yourself and also draw a text box like this. For instance, if you want to include your written instructions, you can paste them in. Change the color like this. So now if I export the PDF again, I create PDF and then project PDF, it would look like this. Again, text, the chart, this is the gallery page, and this is the page I designed myself.